What's going on YouTube? GSM right here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix an iOS device, iPhone, iPod, or iPad that is stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, it's frozen, or shows the Apple logo, for example, in a boot loop if you were jailbroken, or an update failed, stuff like that. We're going to use a software called Tuneskit iOS System Recovery for this, and this one supports also upgrading to iOS 26 or downgrading from iOS 26 back to iOS 18. The program can fix up to 150 plus iOS issues. The program is available for both Windows and Mac OS, so let's test it out. So installation on Mac OS is as simple as dragging and dropping the application to the applications folder, however on Windows you can just follow the normal setup like any other Windows program. Once you have the program installed, it looks like this. You have a couple of options, iOS system repair, downgrade and upgrade, and this is where you're gonna go if you want to downgrade from iOS 26 back to iOS 18, or if you want to update from iOS 18 to the iOS 26 beta, you would go here. Then you have the reset device if you want to erase everything from the device, for example in preparation to give it away to a friend or if you want to sell it, anti-recovery erasure, this makes sure that everything is removed from the device, enter and exit recovery mode, repair synchronization errors and so on. So I'm gonna go here to iOS system repair for today's video and this can fix quite a lot of issues. As I said, if you've been jailbroken on your device and it's stuck in a boot loop with the Apple logo or in recovery mode which is the screen over here with the laptop in the power cable or it's just not powering on properly, just not working properly, it's freezing, you have failure of communication with the computer, you cannot back it up and stuff, you can try this program. And we press start over here with the device connected and we have two modes we can operate this program in, the standard repair and deep repair. Now standard repair will attempt to fix this by updating your iOS version to the latest. It will reinstall iOS but it will not remove all the data. This is usually the recommended way because this will not cause any data loss or at least it will attempt to not cause any any data loss. However, if this doesn't fix your device, you're gonna have to go with Deep Repair, but Deep Repair will remove everything from the device. It's very likely that Deep Repair will fix it, especially if it's a software issue, but it will erase everything, so do make a backup first. So I'm gonna go with Deep Repair in this case because this device is quite damaged, and as you can see, it already found the device type. It's the latest model of the iPod Touch, and you have the option to reinstall iOS. If you do have an IPSW file, a firmware file for your device, you can import the local firmware here. Make sure that it's still signed, otherwise you won't be able to restore it. I'm gonna press download to get the latest version for my device, because this ensures that I get the latest, most compatible version that exists for my device. Otherwise, if you import a local one, it may not be compatible or it may no longer be signed by Apple, so you wouldn't be able to restore to it. So right now is downloading a firmware for this device. I'm gonna wait for it to complete the process and be right back. All right, so now it's in the process of verification. It checks to see if what was downloaded is actually correct. And now it says firmware has been downloaded successfully. Start deep repair. I wanna press in here and it says, please ensure that the device is fully charged and always connected to the computer through the USB cable. I'm gonna press start deep repair here and repair again. And that's it. At this point, the device will reboot and we will be able to reinstall iOS on this device in order to fix various issues like the black screen, blue screen, and of course the recovery mode, stuff like that. If you get an error like this, it doesn't matter, you can just close the uh, pop-up. Your device will reboot several times during this process. This is normal. So at this point, it's going to take about like 10 minutes or so for this. It may complete faster. And once this is completed, you will be able to just configure your device again. It will boot into the setup screen. So I'm gonna wait for that to be the case. All right, so 10 minutes have passed and now I can see here repair completed and the device has indeed rebooted. It says your device will restart automatically, enter the lock screen password after restarting. And yes, I do see a progress bar on my device that looks like that one. And yes, it does take a little bit of time. All right, so the device has finally rebooted and we can now configure it. We're in the setup screen over here and I'm gonna press continue. We can set a passcode if we want Two. I'm not gonna go ahead and set one. You can transfer data if you have a backup, which is a good idea if you have backups created. I'm gonna go with don't transfer, agree Apple terms and conditions. And of course I'm using this device, but you can of course use any device. This program supports the latest iPhone 16 E and of course any other device. I'm gonna disable the location services and Siri. I'm gonna select the uh, light appearance and get started. And that's it. You can see that the device is now fully functional and we can use it as we should. So that's how you fix 
fix a device using TuneSkit iOS system recovery. I'm going to press done in here and that's it. So the program is available for both Windows and Mac OS. As I said, a free trial is available. You can try it for free. And as I said, you can also upgrade and downgrade to iOS 26 with this. Thank you for watching. I'm GS Now. Till the next time, peace out.